Welcome back. My name is Levi from the Isle Revelation. Some of you may know me as Paper Planes on Discord. And today we're going to actually take care of the RVTs. Uh, we just had a recent update for Oceanology 5.1.8. And uh, now it kind of changes the way that the uh, foam works with the RVTs. So now it uses its own RVT system that's not connected to the RVTs that you're using for the landscape or the rocks or anything. Which is really awesome and it kind of takes it away so that none of that's being affected. Uh, we also have a few uh, presets real quick that we'll run through, which is really neat that they added the preset system. And I was just showing a little quick uh, demo on what I'm working on right now with the time lapse, which will be out uh, before this video. But I'll keep working on the rest of this and then we'll start working on those POIs. So for right now, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this back into daytime so we can see what we're doing. Ooh, that was bright. And now you can tell we don't have any foam anymore and I've already removed all of the uh, RVT systems that were in the ocean so if we go to our ocean uh, we have the RVT down at the bottom here right there and we have the RVTs that we're adding here so we're not going to use that anymore uh, we'll also notice that we have a new uh, if we go into our landscape and we go here we can go to the RVTs here and we're not going to be using these anymore either so it's going to add its own and the way that we're going to do that let's go ahead and get started so we have our landscape set up here we're going to go up into our top go down to all classes and we'll just type RVT and you're going to see the Oceanology RVT height map uh, very similar to what we've done before but now we have a few new extra features so we're going to go ahead and zero this out like we've done before. And we have the bounds aligned to actor. We have to set that one to the, uh, I got all these cliffs in here to go through. So we're going to have to set that one again to our landscape and you could have just searched it. I just <laughs> opted to do it the hard way. So you're going to set that one back to landscape. And then we're going to go to where it says set up landscape. We're going to click on that button. Now, if we go up into our landscape after we've done those two and we open the landscape, you'll notice that it's going to add a new RVT right here. This one is specifically for the oceanology, this height map. So that'll give us our height map data. And then if we go back to the infinite, uh, excuse me, we're going to go back to the RVT, which we're going to drop into our RVT folder. And we go back to that one. Uh, currently, if I push set bounds, nothing's going to happen. It's going to just bug out like it normally does. So what we have to do is we have to actually save what we're working on. And then we'll go ahead and reset it. We'll turn that off real quick. And then turn it back on. All right, now that we're back in here, uh, we have all of our brush fi back up and everything. We'll just go ahead and just get rid of those again as usual. So now it's set up uh, once we restart it where we can actually use the set bounds. So when we click on it now, you should see that your bounds box goes exactly where it's supposed to. And we can verify really quickly just by going to our top and making sure we'll just get rid of the ocean floor and making sure that it does line up exactly as it should. And it looks like it's doing well here. So we'll go back to perspective. So now we have all of that set up. We have a couple extra buttons here. So the first thing we're going to do, and we're not going to change any of these. These are all running that RVT that was added to the map. And right now just popped in the new height uh, uh, data there. So we're going to go down to our streaming texture and we're going to put this on four. And then we're going to build. And when we build it, uh, we're going to have to save the height map after that. And that's going to create a new height map that you're going to use. I already have one here I was testing out uh, when I was working on it later. So we're just going to call this one our might. Um, I'll just call this one 02. And we'll go ahead and save that. And the last setup we have to do is to set up the water. So once we save it, uh, you'll see it goes here into the T height map. And then we can click set up water. And now we should see. Uh, we're not seeing anything yet. There's a couple other settings that we have to deal with. Uh, sometimes you'll see a little bit of foam and sometimes you won't. So there's a new way that you control the foam when you go into your RVTs here. So we have the depth for DF foam. We have the water Z max and the water Z min. 
all of those work together. So if we change some of these values, you're going to see that the foam is going to take over the entire RVT panel. And that's what's actually controlling the foam now. So the foam has a much greater degree of customization. But to get it working exactly right out of the box, there is a little bit to it. It really depends on how high the ocean is, I believe. Uh, as far as how high it is on the Z, you can see we're a little bit above. Here's the grid. And we're actually just a little bit below it. So we do have to play around with some of these parameters a little bit. And I found for mine a value of 2 on the depth DF foam works well. And then I can bring down my water Z max and my water Z min. And you can actually play with them a little bit. So if I get this down to say about 80-ish around there, you're going to see it's going to fill up a lot more. But once we bring in our Z, you'll see it start to come back into the land. I'm going slow so you can kind of see that transition happening. And now you can see that line uh, moving out and changing how everything works. And then we can just slowly bring it up to get back to the example that we had earlier. And with that, you can still bring up your min here and your uh, to get a little bit stronger foam if you want. Or bring it back down. This is almost like fine tuning, kind of. So we can bring it up a little bit more and you can play around with it to your heart's content until you get a nice line the way you want it. I'm actually going to bring it down a little bit more like that. And I think I'm going the wrong way. All right, 24. That looks pretty good to me. So I can bring this up a little bit more and then uh, drop my or increase this one. So you'll see that the it gets a little bit more uh, feathered out on the end. So I actually worked really well at 2. And then this one right here was about 80, 85-ish. And this one I think was around yeah, about there, 24, 25. And you can really spend some time on this and play around with it until you get the exact values that you want. I bring it up a little bit more. But that's definitely how you get it set up. And then you can just play with those values until you get it looking the way you want it to look. For your foam, you can also uh, change the opacity for the foam itself as well if you want it to be even brighter. Uh, stuff like that. But now we do have the foam set back up. And that's looking pretty good. And we also have the land up here that we've been working on, putting in all these uh, textures, getting the textures done, getting the broke up here on the uh, where the sand transitions into the grass. And also getting some transitions for the grass itself. Uh, so I don't have too many that are close to the, the water just because there's more water there so you don't get so much brown grass. But once you go up, you start getting little splotchy bits of brown grass like this which will give you a little bit more deviation. But you can see uh, from what we did the other day, I've actually fine-tuned it a little bit more and kind of made them a little smaller and, and just splotchy here and there. And of course, we started adding in uh, a bunch of our rocks and stuff, which will get broken up further once we get through adding some of these trees. Uh, I'm just going through my tree sets right now and getting a palette. So I know which trees I'm going to use, and then I'll separate those out for when we start adding foliage. I'll know where they are and I won't have to root through a bunch of stuff. And for right now, I think that's going to do it for us. So that'll definitely get you set up. And as long as you follow those and just play around with those three values that you have, you shouldn't have any problems even running in Brushfy. And don't forget, uh, if you guys are interested in this water system, please take a look uh, at that. Oh, I did have one other thing I wanted to show really quickly that was really cool in uh, 5.1.8 that I thought was neat. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of setup on it. it. Won't take too long. Let's go ahead and grab it. So if we go down, we have this new slide, uh, this new one here, this new parameter called presets. And if we go to our preset inclusions, I actually want to take out the surface scattering. 
because I don't want it to change the color of my water because the presets will do that. I also want to take out all of the underwater setups because I have the underwater set the way that I want them to be. And the last one, uh, so you can take out the summarize also. I do want to take that out just so I can control. Uh, so that summarize also controls how the buoyancy works as far as the quality of the buoyancy. I like to control that myself and not let the pre preset do that, but all of these will get changed just by dropping in a preset. So now you can see we have calm water. Just like that. And we can actually go up a little higher. We can go to say fresh breeze just by dropping that one in like that. And if we want to go just crazy, let's go ahead to severe gale and see what that one looks like. So just by dropping those in, we've changed everything completely as far as the way the world looks. Yep, I definitely thought that one was cool to show off, so there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. I'm actually gonna use it and put it down to moderate breeze. No, that's a little too low. Let's go to, we'll do strong breeze. That's about where I had it, I think. Yeah, it looks good. Perfect. All right, so that'll do it for today. Don't forget to check out the giveaway if you uh, are interested in that. And I'll have another one up here shortly. So this is just an update for the RVTs. Uh, the next video will actually start working on getting the POI set up and then start on the foliage. So we can get some foliage in there. I'm going to continue doing all the rocks and stuff off screen just because after you see the video, the rocks is really just doing the same thing over and over and over again. So, you know, that's kind of boring. <laughs> so yeah, here shortly we'll, we'll get on that uh, POI, get the lakes in there. So I have two lakes that I want to do. This is our main point of interest. And then we have a little one over here just for a little secret. And then we'll get all that set up. But for right now, I want to say uh, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.